All right, graph this one. Um, I don't have a graph on here, but you will on the test. So let's go ahead and give ourselves a nice graph. That looks pretty good. X and Y axis. So I'll graph this one, I would make a table. And I'm going to be choosing, it doesn't matter actually. Um, I guess I do want to choose easy values though. So I got X and Y. Hmm. So let's let's do that. We'll start with zero. And it doesn't matter which one we choose. We can choose X or Y. We can do one for each and just see where that takes us. So let's make this X zero. Then we'll figure it out when Y is zero as well. If X is zero, then we end up with a 2Y equals 10. So we'll divide both sides by 2 and then Y is 5. So that's when X is zero. When Y is zero... Then we've got x plus 0 equals 10, so that just tells us the x is 10 when y is 0. So that gives us two nice points to graph, which is really all we would need for a straight line like this. But we can find another point just to check. Let's go and graph these first. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that would be point 10, 0. And then we got 0, 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this right here is our second point. All right, so this is our line. The next point that we check should work out pretty well on this one. Specifically, I'm going to use y is 1, just because 1 is a pretty easy value to work with. Now what that does is it gives us x plus 2 times 1, which is 2, equals 10. And what plus 2 is 10? Well, that tells us x is 8. So, when x is 8, which is here, I should have the point 1, which, yeah, that falls on that line. Okay. If I found something else, like 8, 3 up here, I've either done something wrong with finding that value, or I've done something wrong with one or more of the other two points that we've found. So just be careful on that, but these three points are enough to prove that this is a straight line.